Architect, The System Lab, Location, Seoul, South Korea. Welcome to a new tutorial. After this tutorial you will have more skills in modeling organic forms. Let's get started. New project. Large objects, centimeters. Open. Now, we will upload the images. Top view. Zoom out. Add a picture plane. Select floor. Open. First corner of image, other corner of image. Select image. Scale. Zoom in. Base point. First reference point. 1000 enter. We converted meters to centimeters. Zoom out. Move. Point to move from. Zero enter. We move the selected point to zero point. Front view. Zoom out. Now, let's upload the sections. Add a picture plane. Section 1. Open. First corner of image, second corner of image. Zoom in. Select image. Scale. Base point. First reference point. 1000 enter. Zoom out. Move. Perspective view. Move backwards in the y direction. Align in x direction. Align in z direction. Good for now. Right view. Zoom out. Add a picture plane. Section 2. Open. First corner of image, second corner of image. Select image. Scale. Base point. First reference point. 1000 enter. Zoom out. Perspective view. Move down in the Z direction. Move in Y direction. Align in the Z direction. Align in the Y direction. After aligning the sections, we can move them slightly off-center. Let's check. Looks fine. Front view. Let's upload the last image. Add a picture plane. Facade. Open. First corner of image. Second corner of image. Select image. Toggle layer panel. Properties. Material. Object transparency. A value between 30 to 40 is sufficient. Hold down the shift to scale proportionally. Move. Align left side. Scale. Base point. First reference point. Second reference point. We will align this window. Move in the Z direction. Scale. Base point. First reference point. Second reference point. Move a little in the Z direction. Zoom in window. We will start modeling here. Zoom out. Perspective view. Select image. Move in the Y direction. OK we're done with the boring stuff. Select all images. Lock objects. Front view. Zoom in. New in Rhino 7. Subtools. Drag and drop. Create subplane. X and Y count, 4. First corner of rectangle. 
Other corner of rectangle. Tab. Hold Ctrl Shift and double click for loop selection. Scale. Hold Ctrl Shift and double click for loop selection. Scale. Hold Ctrl Shift to select edges or vertices. Ghosted mode. Select middle faces. Delete. Tab. Now let's copy this object. Select object. Mirror. Start of mirror plane, end of mirror plane. Select surfaces. Mirror. Start of mirror plane. End of mirror plane. Select surfaces. Join. Enter. Hold Ctrl Shift and double click middle edges to loop selection. Delete. Now let's edit the windows a bit. Select vertex. Move. Select by hold Ctrl Shift and apply the same process to other vertices. Zoom out. Now let's give depth to the surfaces. Top view. Move backwards in the Y direction. Shaded mode. Select middle edges. Move. Select middle edges. Move. Select edges. Move. Select edges. Move. Select edges. Move. Wonderful. Right view. Zoom in. Select middle edges. Move. Perspective view. Zoom in. Select middle edge. Right. Move. Select edges. Move. Perspective. Select edges. Right view. Move. Perspective view. Shaded mode. Hold Ctrl Shift and double click edges to loop selection. Extrude in the Y direction. 3 enter. Extrude again. 19 enter. Extrude again. 3 enter. We created the wall thickness of 25 centimeters. Extrude again. 60 enter. Extrude. Top view. Scale 1D in the Y direction. Move. Tab. Move. Not bad. Perspective view. Tab. Rendered mode. Shaded mode. Select faces. Extrude. Minus 3 enter. Extrude again. Extrude again. 
We almost uncovered the balconies. But we can't enter. Select faces. Select only three faces that are vertical. Delete. Tab. Select faces. Right view. Zoom in. Move. Make planar. Move. Hold Control Shift and double click adjust to loop selection. Scale 1D. Move. Tab. Perspective view. We should do the same to the balconies on the upper floor. Select faces. Right view. Move. Make planar. Move. Hold Control Shift and double click adjust to loop selection. Scale 1D. Move. Select edges. Move. Zoom out. Perspective view. Tab. Rendered mode. OK. We are going well. Shaded mode. Let's make the openings between the two balconies. Select edges. Move a little. Select edges. Move a little. Select faces. Bridge. Segments, 3. Click OK. Tab. Select first face. Double click second face. Hold shift for proportional scale. Select face. Scale 1D. Move. Tab. Actually it looks good but we will edit it some more. Tab. Select face. Move. Double click edges to loop selection. Move. Zoom out. Let's create a new hole by applying the methods we learned on the upper floor on this floor as well. First select faces and create a bridge, then edit by selecting faces and edges. Don't forget to hold Ctrl Shift to select faces and edges. Tab. No problems appear. Front view. Select object. Mirror. Start of mirror plane. End of mirror plane. Select objects. Join. Enter. Hold Control Shift and double click edges. Delete. Perspective view. We have to drill holes in both walls in the middle. Z enter. Drag a window to zoom. I'm speeding up this part since you've learned this process. Here's what you need to know. Hold down Ctrl and Shift at the same time to select faces and edges. Double click the edges to select a loop. Hold Shift for proportional scale. Fairly simple processes.
We're almost halfway through. Rendered mode. Front view. Select object. Tab. Copy. Point to copy from. Point to copy to. Select objects. Tab. Join. Enter. Hold Ctrl Shift and double click edges. Delete. We need to move the last surface we made up a little bit. Wireframe mode. Select the last part we made. Move. Zoom out. Shaded mode. Perspective view. Front view. Select the first edge. Select the last edge. Double click on the middle edge. Top view. Extrude three times in x direction. One. Two. Three. Wireframe mode. Tab. Align objects. Top. Alignment point. Select edges. Front view. Extrude in x direction. We make the extrude according to the walls. Wireframe mode. Ghosted mode. Select faces that correspond to small windows. Tab. Inset sub edges. Enter. Enter. Zoom out. Delete. Zoom a window. Edit. Select and move corners by holding down Ctrl Shift. Tab. Tab. Select vertex and move. Loop selection. Scale 1D. Pay attention to the symmetrical operation. Select opposite edges. Move. Scale 1D. Select opposite vertices. Move. Tab. Move vertices. Select opposite vertices. Scale 1D. Tab. Zoom out. Edit other windows using the methods we have just learned. Don't break the symmetry. Do not try to imitate the image exactly. Fix overlaps by pressing Tab key occasionally. Zoom out. Perspective view. Shaded mode. Double click to loop selection. Extrude in the y direction. 3 enter. Extrude again. 19 enter. Extrude again. 3 enter. Free extrude. Rendered mode. Front view. Zoom in. 
Loop selection. Tab. Move. Extrude in the Z direction. Tab. Zoom in. Select faces. Delete. Select the vertices in the corners. Add crease. Perspective view. Unlock objects. Select floor and facade. Isolate objects. Select face. Move. Select face. Move. Select face. Move. Select edge. Move. Select face. Move. Select face. Move. Select first edge. Select last edge. Double click the middle edge. Extrude in the Y direction. 5 enter. Free extrude. Top view. Scale 1D. Move. Ghosted mode. Align objects. To plane. Start of alignment point, end of alignment point. Scale 1D. Base point. First reference point. Second reference point. Zoom in. Loop selection. Perspective view. Loop selection. Remove crease. Zoom in. Select image. Lock objects. Select first edge. Select last edge. Double click the middle edge. Select first edge. Select last edge. Double click the middle edge. D select edge. Extrude in the Y direction. 5 enter. Extrude again. 20 enter. Free extrude. Double click to loop selection. Remove crease. Rendered mode. Shaded mode. Zoom in. Select first edge. Select last edge. Double click the middle edge. Duplicate edge. Join. Close curve. 
surface from planar curves. Rendered mode. Select curve and delete. Vertical plane. Start of edge. End of edge. Hide. Select plane. Top view. Move in the Y direction. Perspective view. Trim. Select build enter. Click the plane. Select plane. Toggle layer panel. Right click on layer 1. Change object layer. Material. Plastic. Color. A blue. A little darker. Click OK. Transparency. A value between 40 and 45. Click OK. Show objects. Select images. Unlock floor. Add the floor to the selection. Right click on layer 2. Change object layer. Hide layer. Select build. Extract wireframe. Thanks for watching and supporting. See you until a new project.